I promise you, it won't be long. But uh, I want to talk about something to keep me in the season and let me in. Amen. In the book of Galatians, chapter 4. Context is really verses one through seven. I think it is, but uh, just for the sake of time, we read Galatians chapter four, verses four through seven. But when the fullness of the time was come, God sent forth His Son, made of a woman. Made under the law. Yeah. To redeem them that were under the law, that we might receive the adoption of sons. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. Crying, Abba Father. Yeah. Wherefore? Thou art no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God through Christ. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, Father, for sending your son. And thank you for the salvation he brought to us. We ask, O oh God, that your Holy Spirit would fill and dwell and fill our hearts, that the anointing would be present to speak to us individually through your word, that we might hear from you such message that need to be heard. Anoint me afresh for this preaching moment. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 How many of y'all remember when I was a young man? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was a young man. Yeah. Ain't need no help. <laughs> getting in, getting sure. up, and getting down. Watch out, preacher. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Any yeah, young people in here today? Any of you? Y'all take my word for it. Y'all ain't gonna be young long. Man. Things are gonna change. Things are gonna change. Lord have mercy. I, 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 I came to this service. Believing to be led of God. And we did some things. Oh, we did some things. <laughs> and I'm glad to be able to say we did some things for God. Because the devil know I did some things for him too. But we don't even think about that. But we did some things for God. Amen. Amen. And still trying to do some things. Still trying. Yeah. Still trying. Yeah, with, with, with God's direction and God's leadership, I'm still trying to do some things for God. But I tell you, it ain't like it used to be. Help us, God. I want to speak to us from the text that I just read. says, in the fullness of time, fullness. Right. God sent his son. Yeah. And I want to use for a thought the, 
the, the, the, the good news of the incarnation. He always like it over here. The good news of the incarnation. Amen. God sent his son. Bible said, born of a woman. That's what Christmas is about. It's about the son coming to this earth. Yeah. And uh, bringing us salvation. Yeah. Uh, now, we were told about this dad and his son, second grade son. And, uh, and uh, he was, dad was talking to his children, talking to them about the holiday. And, uh, Telling them, that, you know, what Christmas is going to be about and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and, 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 and the dad said to them, and said to his children, let's make this the best Christmas ever. Best Christmas ever. <coughs> little, little, little second grade son said, Lord, how are we going to make this the best Christmas ever? How can it be better than last year? Mm -hmm. How can it be better than last year? Well, that became the discussion of the gathering of the family because <laughs> as they thought about it, they, no Christmas could ever be better than the Christmas. Mm -hmm. yeah. What could be better than the first Christmas? That's what he wanted. He said, Dad, how can it be better than the first Christmas? And he, and he gave me something and you something to think about. Yeah. See, if you can't enjoy the first Christmas yeah. and keep the rejoicing and the joy of the first Christmas, you'll never Enjoy the Christmas to go. Ah, that's good. Mm -hmm. All right. See, if you can't rejoice about the first Christmas, all your Christmas is about is eggnog. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Eggnog and, and, and partying and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. Shopping, gifts, well, well, you know, all that kind of hoopla, worldly stuff. Right. But you gotta remember the first Christmas. Yeah. And what the first Christmas was all about. Right. Yeah. And if you can every year remember the first Christmas, you'll be keeping the the joy of Christmas alive in your right. life. Yeah, that's right. Are oh, you gonna understand what I'm trying to do? Well, that first Christmas was about Jesus coming, mm -hmm. having been wrapped in flesh. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the Almighty God. That's what the incarnation is. Amen. It 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 is being wrapped in flesh. All right, all right. That's, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. God reducing himself to a mere human, uh -huh. planting himself in a woman's womb. Yeah, yeah. Coming forth and bringing salvation to every man, woman, yes, sir. and boy. Thank you, man. Amen. To, so I, I'm saying to us, to the degree that we can remember the first Christmas, will be to the degree that we'll enjoy every Christmas. All, All right. right. All right. That's what I'm saying. Because it don't get no better than the first. Mm -hmm. That's right. Amen. No, no. Mary gave birth to a baby boy. Very God in. The flesh. Amen. Amen. Right yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in a very room. Thank you, Sunday school, by the way. All right. Yeah. 
Look what God did for us. Yeah. See, see, see. All two. There's two categories. One category is about uh, the religion of what you do. Right. And that's what all religions, other than Christianity, is about. It's what you do. Yeah. It's what you do. But with Christianity, it's not about what you do, but it's about what Christ has done. Yeah. yeah, it's what he's done, and he's already done what we need for him to do in order to be saved. Help me go. So in the fullness of time, God sent his son. Yes, sir. That they had been looking for the Messiah they have. for a long time. Yeah. yeah, they've been looking for him all the way back to Genesis. They've been, yeah. they've been looking for the Messiah. Yeah. But he didn't show because they were looking for him. He came and he got ready. Yeah. But in the Old Testament, they were looking for him. They were looking for the Messiah. From, from, from Malachi to Matthew, they were looking for him. Yeah, all right. But God, God works in strange ways, y'all. Yes, he does. He does. Now, they were looking for him to come. And, and not only did he not come when they were looking for him as such, uh, as far as time is concerned, uh, but he not only did not come, but he stopped talking to him. Yeah. <laughs> yes, he did. From Malachi to Matthew, 400 years. Yeah, that's all. God didn't say nothing. Wow. It, what they call intertestamental period. Uh -huh. God didn't say anything until John came on the scene. Yeah. And John came on the scene talking about. Uh, prepare the way. Make, the way. make straight the way. Because he's getting ready to come. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. God always gives us a warning. Yeah. Yeah, he always gives us a warning. Yeah. 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 He always gives us a warning. Yeah. 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 And he came when God got ready. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 gives some indication of the time that he was going to come. When you read in the Old Testament the promises uh, that God gives, you know, he said he's coming. Yeah. He definitely said he's coming. Amen. But he don't say when he's coming. That's right. yeah. And some of y'all ask him now, when, when does the Lord, he keeps talking about him, he's coming back. When is he coming? Well, it ain't for us. It ain't for us when he comes. Uh-uh. No, it ain't, that's not for us to see. We, 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 we have to be ready. That's what he told us to do. Amen. To be ready. See, he came the first time. And uh, guess what? He come back. Amen. Showed up. And the first time he came, they were looking for him. Yeah. You know, and when he showed up, you know, it wasn't what they thought. Right. Well, well. They thought he was going to show up in the pack. Yeah. Yeah. They thought he was going to show up down with the kings, you know. Come on now. Uh -huh. But he showed up out on the field yeah. with some shepherds. Yeah. Uh -huh. They weren't they 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 expecting that. The only thing we can do is be ready. Because yeah. he came then. As he promised, and he's coming again. Amen. Amen. The only thing we can do is be ready. Yes, he's coming. Amen. First time he came, he came as a baby boy. Come on, come on. But the next time he comes, he's going to come back as a king. Yeah. First time he came, he was riding on a donkey. Yeah. yeah. But the next time he comes, you're going to be riding a white horse. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish yeah, I had just a little help for my 
Yeah, yeah. The first time he came, he came as 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 uh, uncle mm -hmm. as, as a lame. Yeah. Am I right, somebody? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. First time he came, he he, he was born in a man. But the next time he comes, he gonna come and he gonna be sitting on the throne. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. And lift it up. Yeah. And every knee yeah. is gonna bow. Yeah. And every tongue, yeah. ain't got no choice in the matter when he comes the next time. Yeah. Every tongue is gonna confess yeah. that Jesus Christ is Lord yeah. to the glory of God the Father. Yeah, every knee going to bow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the time, the timing was good news. Yeah, right. Yeah. We see the good news of the incarnation, incarnation in the timing. Because the time was right. The time was right. Oh, you know the same the saying we've been saying for you. He may not come. Time in the morning. Right on time. Right on time. He's always on time. Yeah. Never late. Thank you, sir. He's on time. He was on time in the coming in the incarnation. But not only is that good news, but it's good news because of the source. The source. You know, in, in other words, I mentioned it earlier that uh, we, we want to help God out. <laughs> We want to help God out. We, we, you know, some of us have a hard time accepting grace. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Grace through faith. Yeah. There, there's nothing you can do about it. Nah, yeah. that's all right. Some of us have a hard time. Uh, uh I got, I got a usher. Well. I gotta pay my tithe. Well. I gotta do this. I gotta do. Listen. That's a good thing for you to do. Oh, that's good stuff. Amen. But that's not going to get you into heaven. That's right. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. Right. yeah. If you haven't accepted the incarnation yeah. of Jesus Christ, if you have not accepted that baby boy, that's right. you can't make it in. Amen. That's right. You know when the wise man came, I said I wasn't gonna be long. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. See, see, see when uh, Jesus came the first time, and uh, out there in Bethlehem, wise men traveled from afar. They were led by a shining star. Yeah. And uh, when the wise men found him, they gave him gifts. Yeah, they did. Huh? Yes, they then they did. gave him myrrh. What else? Frankincense. What else? Gold. Gold. Good gifts. Expensive gifts. Why would you give a baby a gift? <laughs> See, they understood who he was. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. See, see, some of us only want to do for those who can do for us. Lord have mercy. And we can't see <coughs> what given to a baby. We can't see how it would be beneficial. But when you understand who Jesus is, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. he might be a baby, but he's still a king. Amen. Huh? Yeah. You understand what I'm trying to say to you? Mm -hmm. He's still a king. You, you don't go by what his size, yeah. his pedigree. You don't go by none of that stuff. You go by who he is. Yes, sir. And he is the son of God. Amen. 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 Yes. He was born yeah. of a virgin. Yeah. Y'all better 
accept this doctrine. Yeah, amen. I'm going to accept this doctrine. It was born of a virgin. <laughs> it was born without an earthly fall. Come on. Amen. Help me somebody. Yeah. Yeah, th this was unique. Amen. And it's so unique that you got to do whatever he said to do. Because not only was he unique in his birth, yeah. he's unique in his living. Amen. He is unique in all that he's going to be unique in his coming. Yeah. He's going to be unique in everything that it has been and everything he's done. Yeah. I'm talking about the source of the incarnation. Mm -hmm. You see, these Judaizers try to get folk to believe that they had to work for their salvation. Yeah. yeah, come on. Yeah. Or they had to do something to earn their salvation. Mm -hmm. I said there's only two categories. Yeah. All religions fit in these categories. Amen. Oh, Amen. You, 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 can, you, you, you can do <coughs> or you can trust that God has done for you. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. Jesus paid it all. Yeah. Amen. Yes. I said he paid it all. Oh, yes, he did. And all to him. Here you go. I said all to him. Amen. The Spirit of God tell me to say something now. It probably don't even fit no wise, no way, no one. But when you surrender to God, you got to surrender all. Oh. You, you, you can't keep back a little bit. No, I, I, I ain't going to surrender this. No, you got to surrender all. Either Jesus is Lord of all, or he's not Lord at all. And you have to decide which. Mm -hmm. Do you want him to be the Lord of all of your life? Yeah. Or are you trying to make him Lord of some stuff? Oh, yeah. It ain't working. Mm -hmm. God ain't playing second field in nothing. Yeah. He's going to be number one in every category. Oh, yeah. Now, that ain't going to cost you. I don't know why I have seen that. <laughs> Jesus in his own incarnation was old as his daddy and older than his mama. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yo, she won't let for me. Because I need mean, I He's old as his daddy. Yeah. And older than his mama. I know I'm right about it. Yeah. Because John said in the beginning, yeah. <laughs> what's the word? Yeah. And his word was with God. Yeah. And the word uh, was, was God. God. Yeah. And then John 1 14 said, and the word became flesh. Yeah. And dwelt yeah. among us. I'm talking about incarnation. Yeah, yeah. When God needed somebody to save man yeah. from destruction, That's right. he didn't. He didn't call Adam. No. Didn't call Abraham, Isaac, no. Jacob. Didn't call the minor prophets. Amen. The major prophets. Didn't call the gospel writers. Yeah. Didn't call Paul, Peter, James, or John. But when we needed a Savior, Jesus was the only one sufficient to go on our bone. And that's why we rejoice in it. If you can't rejoice in Jesus, I ain't 
talking about? I'm Listen, talking you come to him. church and rejoice and having a good time. That's all right. You come to church, see folks, rejoice and have a good time. That's good too. Don't sing, sing, assembling yourself again. Come to church, see the pastor. That's good too. But listen, if you can't come to rejoice in Jesus, if you can't come to rejoice in uh, 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 Christ, our Savior, you missing the mark. You missing the mark. Last thing I'm going to say, and, I, and I'm going to cut it short. Not only was the time a blessing in Cornelia, in Cornelia, not only was the source a blessing in reincarnation, but the type of reincarnation is good news. And I'm going to tell you a little story. And I'm going to quit. There's another story, a story about a father and his children and his, and his son. You know, this is a special time of the year. Y'all know that? Yeah. This is a special time of the year. Very, very, very special. Spe spe special, special because. Uh, there's no other time of year like this. It is. And, and, and especially with Christians. Have you ever noticed how Christmas, Christmas, ain't no, ain't no confusion about any other special day of the year. Uh, ain't no confusion about Veterans Day. <laughs> You know it's about the best. Right. Ain't, ain't no confusion about Valentine's Day. And y'all guys better not get confused. <laughs> ain't no confusion about your birthday. No. And no other holiday ain't no confusion. Mm. Until it comes to the 25th of December. Yes, sir. <laughs> Rudolph. Rejoice every Christmas yeah. about 
the fact that God is with us. Yeah, he may not come like you want him to come and when you want him to come, but if you belong to him and you're trusting in him and you've got some faith in him, he's coming in and he's going to be right on the time. nation is about God coming for you. Listen. John 3.16 says, says, for God so loved the world that he gave. Y'all know it. His only begotten son. That whosoever would believe in him should not perish. But have, why don't y'all say it with me? Ever lasting life. Everlasting life. Yeah. Everlasting life. There may be somebody here today who don't have everlasting life. And if you are, we won't get we don't want to leave without giving you a chance to accept your everlasting life. I got mine. I, 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 I believe that the uh, king had his. Yes, he did. Oh, yeah. He, he got to go down, but he's coming up. I guess that's the way he's going. I, got, I hope you got yours. But if you don't, you can get it. And you know how the Bible talks about this? He talks about it as a gift. Yes, sir. Okay. That's how he talks about it. He talks about it as a gift. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Tell me you won't be there. And, uh, and, and we'll take it from there. Yeah. Officers and I said, we'll take it from there. Oh, yeah. If you want to say you don't have everlasting life, you don't feel like you have, don't feel like you have the gift. Just go. Just go. Just go. Yes.
get your offering in your hand if you don't want to put the box outside. Get it in your hand ready. 